Today we're going to talk about Pentecost and what happened on that great day when the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus' disciples. We'll read about that from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. This is the word of the Lord. And so we're standing here with dancing leaves, red fire-like leaves, but this is just a tree, just a normal tree, happened to turn colors at the right time for us to film this video, uh, but it gives us a beautiful picture of how amazing it must have been to visibly see the Holy Spirit descending on this, the disciples. As beautiful as this tree is with its bright red leaves, we can't fathom the beauty of seeing the Holy Spirit, and yet he made himself visibly manifest to the disciples. And why did he do that? He wanted to be seen by them. And he endowed them with special gifts, such as speaking in tongues. And what that means is they, they were able to proclaim all sorts of different languages so that they could then go out into the street and tell everyone who was gathered in Jerusalem for that Old Testament festival called Pentecost and proclaim to them the good news of God's love in Jesus Christ. You see, God's Old Testament people had waited for hundreds and indeed thousands of years for the Holy Spirit to descend. He had been promised by many of the, of the prophets, including uh, Jeremiah and Ezekiel. And this is the fulfillment of those prophecies. And when he descended on the disciples, they were empowered. They were emboldened. They were endowed with special gifts that God used to make his love known to those around them. We too have special gifts that we can share. We may look at the gifts that God gave the apostles and be like, oh man, if only I could speak in tongues, then it would be easy to share the faith. But I can assure you, I don't care what gifts you have, it isn't always easy to share the faith because there's always something in us that doubts a little bit, something that kind of holds us back. And it's hard to say what that is, but we know that it is sin. And yet God still blesses us with his Holy Spirit. He loves us, and even though we are imperfect, and even though we are sometimes even afraid to share the good news of who He is and what He's done for us, He still uses us, and He invites us to share that good news with others. And so I hope today that you are inspired by the disciples and look for ways that you can share Christ with others. Because even if you may not be able to speak foreign languages or even know what somebody needs to hear when you want to help them, God will give you His gifts so that you can share with confidence, knowing that it doesn't depend on you. It isn't up to you, but rather God will use you to bless those whom he loves when you share Jesus with them. Please pray with me. Holy Spirit, you are the Lord and giver of life, and we thank you for the special way that you blessed the apostles on the day of Pentecost so that your good news of love could be made known to all people of all nations. We are living proof of that great gift because you have given us faith to trust you always. And may you also bless us with a willingness to share that good news with others. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Click the icon to subscribe or explore more of our video lessons on our channel.